the existing uh, that's that's primarily what why it was designed it, an existing system let's just take a, an existing house uh, regular two bathroom house let's it's called a slab house to make it kind of uh, make it easier to understand but we would uh, roll up to the house we would connect up to all the fixtures the fixtures being you know uh, the shower the toilet and the sink um, all the hose bibs outside we connect air hoses up to all those outlets and we uh, we blast air through the system to dry it out we then uh, do a burst sandblast method where we would sandblast the inside just like I was talking about you know just like you would restore the paint on a car you would you would sandblast all the paint off before you would paint it again um, and then what we would do is we would inject an epoxy uh, beginning uh, you know beginning furthest from the exit Let's say you know the exit is is just outside the front door. We would start the furthest kitchen or the furthest bathroom, inject the epoxy furthest away, and kind of work our way back to the main, uh, making sure that we've got proper coverage all the way through. The uh, whole process on an average house takes anywhere from a day and a half to three days, depending on the size of the home. Um, the cost for the for the consumer uh, would you be looking at? Uh, for a single leak repair, anywhere from let's say two to three thousand dollars, and on a whole house restoration, probably between seven and nine thousand dollars. Now, but when you factor in the, when you factor in, not having to rip up walls, floors, ceilings, um, you don't have to worry about mold behind the shower wall. Uh, you know all those reasons why you know it, it makes it better we found that our customers are willing to pay a premium for for a better solution a better solution than just taking a taking a pipe and replacing it with a new one the, the largest size pipe we can do is uh, between uh, is, is about six inches we'll go down to you know to a half an inch so you know, when you think about uh, and primarily our business is in the is in the, uh, the residence or, or the area uh, that Dr. Mark Edwards in Virginia Tech University is called the gap to the tap. You know, throughout the entire system, uh, I'm sorry, water distribution system, you've got a uh, large diameter pipe, you've got a large surface area, right? And low flowing, you know, low flow, it's fairly frequent flow. Uh, the temperature doesn't really range that much. But when you get into the water, you get to the water meter, you immediately hit, well, now instead of a cement line pipe, I'm going to a metal pipe. I'm dealing with infrequent flow. I'm dealing with variance in temperature uh, uh, and, and a number of other reasons why when you get to the, to, to, that's why it's the gap to the tap. That's where the area that the EPA really didn't think about when they, kind of enacted this Clean Water Drinking Act. And again, you know, in, in their defense, they didn't know the effects of going from, you know, chlorine to chloramine would have. Uh, but that that gap to the tap, that water meter to the tap portion of the water distribution system, which is essentially the only part that the customer cares about, is the one that's, that's seen the, you know, the worst results uh, based on this Clean Water Drinking Act. And, and and that's where companies like, you know, you've got PEX and you've got uh, uh, CPVC and, and, and those kind of companies have come forth and said, look, we understand this is a problem with the water being aggressive towards the copper water pipe, towards the metal, you know, towards the galvanized water pipe, and, and we have a product. But it causes you to, you know, you're going to have to rip out your walls. I'm going to have to access you know, uh, access your basement or I'm going to have to, you know, jackhammer your slab to replace this pipe or to fix this pipe. Uh, you know, at Ace Dirt Flow, what, what we believe is, is, you know, reuse. You know, we want to reuse what already exists in, in someone's home. Uh, by reuse, we exactly do that. We reuse the existing water pipes uh, distribution system you know, and and restore it with an epoxy coating, leaving you with a system that's that's just as good as new.
and in fact better than new because it, it provides a better flow rate than brand new copper pipe. Uh, it instead of a uh, instead of a, a, a copper pipe flow ratio, uh, you get a, a CPVC flow ratio. So you not only you know by 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 using this epoxy product, you've not only saved the, the homeowner from destroying their home, but you but you you've kind of upgraded their plumbing system to protect against leaks and increase the flow. So you start the lag last fixture and you go all the way to the water meter. Is that the way you do it? That's right. We we start uh, start this furthest away from the exit. Actually, I'll, I'll kind of take you through the process. You know, first the the, the entire system has to be drained of water. The uh, then we obviously air dry it. The sanding process actually starts closest to the exit because you can imagine uh, in a galvanized system, you don't want to start at the very end because the very end is the worst uh, is, is is most likely the worst uh, the worst corroded area. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll and we'll start closest to the exit, opening it up a little more as we go further back into the home. Um, you know, sanding. You know, typically it's like the washer. Uh, you know, the washroom first, then the you know, then the bathroom, then the you know, then the kitchen, I mean, then then the upstairs bathroom, um, and then the epoxy the epoxy coating process takes exactly the opposite. We'll go furthest from the exit because uh, we know that everything's open and uh, the corrosion's been removed, but the epoxy needs to be uh, kind of daisy chained through the home to make sure that we've got a proper even coating all the way through. Uh, so, if there's no other questions, I think uh, I think that'll wrap it. I, I thank you for your time.